Okay, here we are, folks. We're here in my uh, dining room, and we're going to be trying to solve these questions that are giving you so much trouble, okay? So this isn't a question exactly from the homework, but it's very similar uh, to the questions you're trying to solve. And what they're going to be asking you to find is this little tiny piece here, this BD. So that's what we're solving for. Okay? So, what do we know? Well, we know that uh, we have A, B, and C are all points on the outside of the circle. And we know that we have a chord here, A, C, and that it's going to be uh, 12 units long. We also have a radius, uh, because E is supposed to be the center of the circle. And so B, E is our radius, and they tell us that it is 10 units long. Okay? So that's 10, and that's 12. Another piece of information that you'd probably be given is the fact that this chord and this radius hit each other at 90 degrees. So why is that important? That tells us that if a radius hits a chord at 90 degrees, it's got to cut it in half. Okay? So if the whole chord was 12, because that's what they told us, AC is 12, and how much are each of these going to be? Well, they're going to be 6. So, uh, AD and DC are both 6. Okay? Alright, so now, now, how does that help us find what this is? Well, for a lot of these questions, we end up making a right angle triangle. Okay? So, the deal is that we can make a new line to make a right angle triangle. And the line I'm going to make is this one here. I'm going to go from A to E. Okay, so how long is AE going to be? Well, AE is also a radius. So it's going to be the same as uh, BE. They're both going to be 10, because they're both radiuses. And in a circle, all the radiuses are the same. All right, so... That means we have a right angle triangle. Do you guys see it? It's just uh, this triangle right here, A, D, E. And it's got a hypotenuse of 10. We know it's a hypotenuse because it's across from the 90 degree angle. We got one of the legs is 6. And we just got to find out what this leg is right here, uh, D, E. All right, so let's find it. So you need to use Pythagoras. Pythagoras is A squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is going to be our hypotenuse always, so that's going to be our 10 squared. And we can choose 6 to either be our a or our b, doesn't matter. I'm going to choose it to be, uh, uh, sorry, it's the b. It's going to be 6 squared. <laughs> that looks pretty awesome. All right. And now we can go ahead and square these out, so we get 100 equals 36 plus a squared. Subtract 36 from both sides. So we end up getting a squared equals 64. And to get just a, we'll square root both sides. So a equals 8. All right. So that means a was this side here. That was de. So this is going to be 8. Now, if the whole thing is 10, and this much is 8, then how much is this going to be? Well, it's just going to be 10 minus 8. That'll give us BD. 10 minus 8, simply 2. Okay? So I hope that helps you to set up your questions. They're all going to have the same kind of idea where you end up making a line, which is going to be the same as your radius. And you go from there using Pythagoras. All right. Good luck, folks.